Preparation is not being made for the risk of another cosmic impact. This is not a theory. This is a fact. There's a comet up there, and responsible astronomers regard the Taurid meteor stream as the greatest collision hazard facing mankind at the present time. If there's one space object that took the entire science community by storm, it's Oumuamua. Join us on this cosmic journey. James Webb Telescope just revealed the first ever real image of Oumuamua. Oumuamua sparked much interest from the moment it appeared on our radar. And as the years went by and scientists discovered more fascinating details about the strange object, it became one of the most discussed and investigated space objects. However, there wasn't adequate technology to reveal its appearance until the James Webb Telescope came along. How did the James Webb Telescope manage to capture Oumuamua, even though it's so far away? Where exactly is Oumuamua now? What new facts about Oumuamua have scientists learned from this new photo? Oumuamua was the first object that came into our solar system from outer space. At first, scientists thought it was just another asteroid wandering about in space, but its strange appearance gave a different impression. Asteroids are usually spherical or irregularly shaped, and their shapes largely depend on their geological makeup. However, Oumuamua had a one-of-a-kind cigar shape and didn't move in a haphazard motion. Instead, it seemed to glide through space at a fascinating speed. From the first time this space phenomenon entered our solar system, astronomers realized that it moved too fast to be an asteroid. Asteroids, like planets, orbit the sun at slow speeds, but Oumuamua didn't appear bound to the sun. Instead, it seemed to have a defined path. In all the decades since humanity started exploring space, we've never had any space object behave the way Oumuamua did. The fact that it came from interstellar space made it even more suspicious. Usually, we're the ones who send space probes like Voyager 1 to visit interstellar space and discover things that we can't see from here with a regular telescope. So, you can imagine the excitement when one of these faraway objects ventured into our solar system. Oumuamua gave scientists a rare opportunity, and they wasted no time pouncing on it. The first sighting of this visitor was on October 19, 2017. It was discovered by Robert Warrick, at the Haleakala Observatory using the PanSTARRS telescope. When the strange object started flashing like a beacon on the PanSTARRS radar, the team manning the telescope knew it was something from beyond our realm, so they named it Oumuamua, meaning messenger from afar. The discovery of Oumuamua was so monumental that the team quickly shared the discovery with the public. It was an exciting moment, humanity's first encounter with an extraterrestrial, but it was also a scary moment because, for some strange reason, this interstellar visitor seemed to be headed straight for Earth. You can imagine how much of a buzz Oumuamua created when it was first discovered. Various conspiracy theories began to spread regarding its nature and its mission to Earth. Some thought it was an asteroid about to hit our planet, while others believed it was an alien spaceship in disguise. After it failed to prove it was an asteroid, the amazing speed of this object made some astronomers assume it was a comet. But again, this theory turned out to be wrong, as Oumuamua had no comet tail or gas. The alien spaceship theory began to spread when it was discovered that Oumuamua sped up as soon as it got close to our sun. This was on September 9, 2017, when Oumuamua accelerated to 196,000 miles per hour. It was as though the object was trying to escape the sun's scorching heat. Not only that, it maneuvered around the sun in a suspicious way, like it had a mind of its own. And even more mysterious was the fact that our sun's heat seemed to have no effect on it. A renowned astronomer supported this alien theory, postulating that the object was not propelled by any regular fuel, but by solar radiation. It was also assumed that Oumuamua was built by an alien civilization far more advanced than ours, and they utilized a cloaking mechanism to make it appear like a space rock. It took quite a while for science to debunk the myth that Oumuamua was an alien space probe. The unbelievable visitor from deep space is simply an expelled piece of another solar system from a faraway galaxy. Scientists believe its strange acceleration was caused by escaping hydrogen gas from its hydrogen-rich body. As it approached the sun, it warmed up, and the trapped hydrogen inside it escaped and gave it a push. 
So it turns out it was just a unique asteroid from an ancient interstellar planet. Oumuamua didn't behave like any of the comets or asteroids in our solar system because it's not from here. However, the more interesting aspect for scientists was not just solving this puzzle, but the discovery of actual images of Oumuamua, thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Having a real image of Oumuamua is a big deal, and the James Webb Telescope has helped unveil the real image of this space wonder. Since its launch, the remarkable James Webb Space Telescope has been instrumental in studying interstellar space objects. One of the telescope's exceptional abilities is that it can gather and analyze infrared light. Infrared light is important to astronomy because it reveals hidden details in images, thus making the investigation of celestial objects more profitable for astronomers. With infrared light wavelengths, we can comfortably detect the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. Also, the James Webb Telescope is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments that can observe objects that are too old or too distant for regular telescopes. The high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments in the James Webb Telescope possess the unrivaled ability to clearly show even the faintest space objects or galaxies. This extraordinary sensitivity and power create a unique opportunity for scientists to comfortably explore the mysteries of interstellar objects in space. Just so you know, interstellar space is the space beyond our solar system, and it holds some of the most fascinating stuff we've found in space over the years. From black holes to monster galaxies, there's a lot we've found in interstellar space, and a whole lot more left to be discovered. Seeing interstellar space components in detail to unravel their chemical composition and true nature is almost impossible from Earth. This is why, until now, space probes like Voyager 1 were the only source of information about interstellar space mysteries. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, these components can now be studied from Earth in great detail. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced suite of infrared cameras adds precision to the images of interstellar objects. With its keen eye, the telescope can reveal intricate details and paint vivid pictures of the stunning celestial bodies in interstellar space as they venture within our observational range. Another fascinating aspect of the James Webb Telescope is that if you cannot capture the desired image in one photo, it can merge hundreds or even thousands of photos to create a super image that contains every little detail you could ever need to see. If you've been paying attention, you'll notice that there's been a spike in the number of space discoveries since the James Webb Space Telescope was launched. This is because this mega tool is capable of capturing the faintest and most obscure aspects of space and its ever-elusive objects. The James Webb Telescope has made it easier for scientists to conduct groundbreaking research and unravel the mysteries hidden in the depths of the cosmos. Moreover, it extends the frontier of space exploration by allowing scientists to look into the depths of space at magnitudes and wavelengths that were previously impossible. This is why discoveries like the Phantom Galaxy and the Southern Ring Nebula are occurring more frequently. This space breakthrough has opened up a realm of possibilities that allows us to push the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding of the universe. Although the James Webb Telescope has proven to be the most significant scientific breakthrough so far for space study, we can't ignore the value of other important tools like the PanSTARRS Telescope. After all, the PanSTARRS Telescope discovered Oumuamua in the first place. The James Webb Telescope was only utilized to further research on Oumuamua because it was best suited for that purpose. The PanSTARRS Telescope is stationed at the summit of Haleakala on the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. This telescope is the core player in the ambitious PanSTARRS project. The PanSTARRS project is a collaborative effort involving esteemed institutions with the primary goal of monitoring the sky for any unusual astronomical phenomena, especially those that could potentially cause impact events. The PanSTARRS-1 telescope is part of an elaborate system designed for wide-field astronomical imaging. Its primary task is to conduct comprehensive night sky surveys and capture celestial objects in optical wavelengths. 
The telescope tirelessly scans the cosmos, from distant galaxies to elusive comets and asteroids, as it documents the wonders that populate our vast universe. It also carefully surveys the sky to spot any objects that might pose potential threats to Earth. The PanStars relies on its special PS1 image processing pipeline, IP, to manage the immense volume of data collected during these surveys. IP is a cutting-edge software that allows the space telescope to automatically process and analyze vast amounts of observational data. Astronomers can then use advanced algorithms and computational techniques to uncover the secrets hidden within the thousands of celestial images captured by PanStars. One remarkable aspect of the PanStars-1 telescope is its crucial role in the PanStars Near-Earth Object Survey. This is part of the PanStars project, which focuses on scanning the heavens for near-Earth objects, NEOs, including asteroids and comets that could potentially collide with our planet. This is why the PanStars-1 telescope is renowned as a sentinel against the ever-looming threat of catastrophic impacts. So far, this telescope's dedication to safeguarding our planet has not gone unnoticed. Its keen eye has managed to spot countless objects, including Oumuamua, that might have otherwise escaped our notice. While it couldn't capture Oumuamua on camera, it revealed its presence and importance to the scientific community, which then led to the use of the James Webb Telescope to capture an image. Now that we have an actual image of Oumuamua, scientists can analyze it even better and develop a more accurate description of what it really is and how it will behave in the coming years. Remember that this bizarre visitor was first sighted in 2017. Since then, it's traveled farther from the sun and away from us. It's left our vicinity and will be heading back to wherever it came from, never to return. We will probably never know where Oumuamua came from or what its purpose was in the solar system. Nevertheless, the lessons learned from studying it will forever remain, and the James Webb Telescope will continue to capture fascinating images of interstellar space objects. Perhaps in the future, we'll see another fascinating visitor, and this time, the James Webb Telescope will be ready to capture its image. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.